Hello everyone and welcome back to Press On Mobile Coffee. I'm Anthony Gerard. And I'm Rachel. We're here today to show you our top five favorite items that we use every day. In no particular order, here is our first item. So here we have the Dosi Cup for ground espresso. And what you'll do is you'll actually grind uh, from your grinder right into this dosing cup rather than your portafilter. Then you'll take your portafilter, place it on top, flip it over, give a couple taps. What this does is it ensures all the ground coffee is actually going into your portafilter, not spilling around the outside. Saves big time on um, you know keeping things clean, not having a mess, and you're not wasting any coffee. Yeah, keeping the workstation clean is definitely one of the biggest troubles with grinding your beans. It just ends up everywhere. So this prevents most of that. Yeah, that's honestly, out of the whole operation, that's probably the messiest part is the overspill the coffee grounds. So we like to run a pretty simple operation here, pretty minimalist and efficient, um, not only because we have a small trailer, but because we're not into all the gimmicky stuff. There was one machine I saw a girl using that was a latte art printer that just prints on the milk. It was cool, but we stay away from that kind of stuff. Yeah, it didn't seem very necessary, honestly. Right. And some mobile applications, they carry way too many uh, cup sizes, in my opinion. You know, six, seven, eight different sizes. I run pretty simple. I do one size for cold drinks, and then I do two sizes for hot drinks. And generally for mobile applications, you're doing a lot of events. Um, so it's all about speed. So last thing you want is six, seven different cup sizes. Yeah, or 150,000 syrup, syrup flavors. flavors. Yeah, I see that a lot for sure. <laughs> yeah. For my second item, it's gotta be the coffee leveler. So this little guy here actually eliminated uh, my tamper pretty much. I actually don't tamp at all with the traditional tamper anymore. Why is that better than a tamper? Um, just preference, honestly, but this keeps it pretty consistent. It gives you just the right pressure. For it does. It's perfect. Yep. So once you have your coffee in here from your dosing cup, this sits right on top and you just spin this. So no pressure. No pressure at all. I'm just spinning freely. And what these blades do here, as you can kind of see the angle, is it flattens the bed of coffee out. What I found by using the coffee leveler, if I tamp afterwards, there's no added benefit. It's not going to compress any further this gets all the voids out of your coffee actually. So where'd you find this guy? Uh, this I purchased from holatelove.com. Uh, the brand is Azo, I guess you pronounce it, A-S-S-O, Azo Coffee. But uh, yeah, it's a really great item. Uh, this eliminates any pockets or voids in your coffee bed, so there's no channeling for the water. Um, this is actually adjustable too. So you can set the depth depending on how much coffee you actually have in your port filter. If it was me, I would probably be satisfied with just a small broom, but my husband is a clean freak, so this is item number three. I still have a broom and dustpan for my floors, but this is perfect for all the nooks and crannies, all those spill coffee grounds. Really easy cleanup. Uh, the brand is Hyper Tough, little gallon and a half, basically shop back. It just comes uh, in handy, like during like a little bit of downtime, I can use it to um, clean up any spilled coffee grounds on the counters and whatnot. I swear, it seems like every time I think I have downtime and I get this out, as soon as I kick it on, I get a customer at the window. So not necessarily a bad thing, but. Uh, it also comes with a mounting rack, so it just mounts on the wall. Yeah. So that it's out of the way and we're not taking up extra storage under the counters. Yeah, super lightweight, comes with this little bracket. So just mount it on the wall over here in the corner. Item number four is my small commercial fridge made by Summit. Uh, it's actually a company called AccuCold now but the first thing i really like about it is it has a lock on the door so when you're in transit you can keep it locked not having to worry about uh, milk falling over hitting the door and spilling out oh, and it will be everywhere <laughs> giant mess yeah for sure uh how many watts is it it's i think maybe 150 watts or less it's pretty low wattage which is another great thing about the battery system we listed in our last video is this pulls very little power so it's that's great the only thing you run constantly right yeah, it's the only thing that's on constantly. So even when I'm at home, that's the only thing I have to keep plugged in mm -hmm. is just the fridge, make sure my milk stay cold. Uh, and then I keep a little heater in here, but that I just plug into the house too, so. The heater is so that the water pipes don't freeze, right? Yes, correct. So we do live in North Idaho and yeah. it's cold. <laughs> the PEX plumbing that I use though, it expands. So that's pretty safe when it comes to freezing, but I don't want to take a chance 
for my water tanks and especially not my espresso machine. Yeah. And actually, so the nice thing about this fridge, it has uh, no shelving on the inside of the door so it can hold more milk than a, a normal fridge. Mm -hmm. How much milk does your fridge hold? So I can fit about six gallons of milk in there and then also, you know, smaller cartons of chai teas, um, alternative milks, half and half, that sort of thing. We don't keep the fridge under the counter, but it's nice that it is an under the counter height. Yeah, so pretty minimal design, really. I will add also that when you are shopping for a fridge for mobile application, um, a lot of the under counter fridge, like the stainless steel type, they're for a more permanent commercial setting, and a lot of them do not have locks on them, so uh, look out for that. Isn't it a medical fridge? Technically, it is a medical grade fridge, yes. So, and I think that's probably why it doesn't have the the interior shelving on the door. Would you prefer a fridge that had a glass door? Um, not for a mobile application, just for safety reasons of it getting broken, um, but it is nice to be able to see your inventory. Item number five is the? Coffee grinder. So I actually use a different grinder now than I did when I first opened. Um, now I'm using a Chiado brand, spelled C-E-A-D-O. Another item I purchased from Whole Lot De Love. Why does the grinder make your top five? First and foremost, the grinder is doserless, so I don't have to worry about using two hands to dose the coffee. Um, it just holds your pour to filter in place, tap a button, and shoots out the coffee. So it's fully automated? Correct, yep, yeah, just a single button, yeah, is all you have to push. Cool. Probably the main reason why I chose this coffee grinder is the grind retention, which may or may not have looked into yet, but a lot of times the coffee grinders, depending on how the burrs are set up, you're going to have a lot of leftover coffee in between each dose, um, which, you know, if you're really busy, that's not really that big of a deal. Um, but at the end of the day, when it starts to slow down, you can have coffee left over in there and it's going to start to go stale and that can affect the, the taste of your coffee. Oh, definitely. So we, at home we have a Gaja and it retains, I don't Probably know. five to eight grams of coffee. So that's definitely something to be conscious of. Yeah, otherwise you're going to have to tap the grinder on the back of it like you're burping a baby basically <laughs> to get the rest of the coffee out. True story. So the last thing about the Chiado coffee grinder is that it comes with a small hopper that really only holds about a pound of coffee, I'd say. Um, it's kind of designed to fit on your countertop below your upper cabinets, so really for home use, but it's great in a commercial setting. You bought a bigger hopper, right? Yeah, I bought the bigger hopper uh, from a guy that had one listed on eBay, and holds this one holds, uh, I would say, at least three pounds, yeah. So it's a kind of a, com comes compact, but it's still very heavy grinder. That wraps up our five favorite items today. Do you have something that would be an honorable mention? Um, I think we could both agree on the pitcher and sink for sure, but... Everyone has those. Yeah, kind of standard, but great item. It's definitely very efficient, so I, like, sure. I like that one too. Yeah, it doesn't waste a lot of water. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I'm very happy to answer those for you. Yep, yeah. and if you like the video, please subscribe, and check us out on social media. We're on Facebook and Instagram. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you like this video. Bye guys. Later. You guys can thumbs and likes this video and I'll say you do. <laughs> no, we're not. We're not going that route. Oh my god. I was going to play with gesture. That never helps, I don't know why you do that.